Hi, when you're camping and caravanning in remote areas, especially in Australia, it can be very difficult to get fresh bread. And you may not have room in your caravan freezer for frozen bread. And you may not be on mains power either, so you can't use a, um, a bread maker. But I'm going to show you today how you can actually cook bread in a camp oven using one of these new Drifter Stockton bread camp ovens. Enjoy the video. Hi Dennis from Caravan Cooking here. Uh, welcome to another cooking video. Unfortunately, I'm not out camping uh, or caravanning uh, this week. I'm home in the backyard. Uh, if you can see the caravan in the, in the background there. And um, we may have a little bit of road noise, so we'll have to uh, um, just work around that as we go. I just wanted to give you a closer look at the Drifter Stockton um, uh, bread uh, camp oven. It uh, comes in three pieces, so you've got uh, a lid there. You've got the body of the camp oven and also you've got a trivet that goes in the bottom as well and that's very important to keep the um, whatever you're cooking in here you can do bread you can do a small roast I suppose you can cook just about anything in here just keep it off the bottom of the camp oven too so it doesn't burn just put that aside for a minute But the first thing we need to do is light the uh, heat beads. It's really important. And we've got the um, fire starter here. And I'm going to use one of these plasma lighters. Uh, they're great. They're also um, uh, windproof as well. And they charge off USB. And get it working. Yep, it's working. We'll get that going and then we'll put our hot coals on on there in the chimney. <coughs> now when I'm caravanning camping I like to make things simple. I don't have time to muck around kneading bread and with yeast and all that sort of stuff. So I just using a, uh, a packet bread mix. And one I really liked about this one is that it uh, only has a few simple ingredients. Mm. So all I need to add to the bread mix itself is milk and eggs and a tiny bit of oil. That's all I need. So that really appeals to me when I'm out camping and uh, caravanning, means I don't have to muck around with a lot of stuff. So let's get started on this anyway. So the first thing here, I have um, four large eggs. I'm just going to crack those into the bowl. got my off-sider Tilly here. You may remember Tilly from one of my earlier videos uh, when we had just got her. She's now eight months old and she's uh, pretty much fully grown. Oh, I hate when that happens. So just use the eggshell to get any eggs out that have fallen in. And Jamie Oliver will tell you you should crack your eggs on a flat surface anyway. And he's a lot more experienced than I am at cooking. All right, just get those out of the way. And I will you add one and a half cups of milk as well. That's there out of the way. Now I'm just gonna whisk this up and get it all mixed. Break up those egg yolks too. 
probably should have whisked the eggs before I put the milk in, but anyway, it doesn't matter. Is that more of a whisk? And over here we've got the, um, the heat beads still heating up, so that'll take a little while for those to heat up. I'm using a heat bead chimney, which makes it quicker than if I just sort of pile the heat beads up and tried to do it that way. Making a nice mess here. Might just quickly go inside and get some paper towel. I should have brought it out with me earlier. Might be long. It'll probably all blow away anyway. The paper towel that is. few birds in the background. <laughs> I should have got the scissors to cut this while I was there. Look out dog. <laughs> Rightio, a bit more organised now. So we've uh, we've cut the, um, the top off the bread mix. Just going to add that to the bowl. Make a little bit of a, a well in the center. And now we'll pour our milk and egg mix in. And we'll give that a good mix with a wooden spoon. Um, as I said, the packet mix says you don't need to knead this, uh, so that's pretty good, I'm happy with that. Um, and also, you don't need to uh, prove it for half an hour, let it, let it rise, I think it's about 15 minutes or so, you just leave it for. Just give that a good mix. This is a seeded mix. Um, and it's a low carb recipe as well, a low carb bread mix. Yeah, it's starting to come together now and thicken up. Get all that flour off the sides. It's quite a wet mix. But it's um, stirring up nicely. You can see how how it is there.
okay so that's coming along nicely the next thing i'll do is i'll uh, grease or oil the um the little camp oven so i'll put a drop of oil in the bottom Just get the brush there and give it a really good brush all around. This is a pre-seasoned um, oven, camp oven. Put a little bit more oil in there. And it's the first time I've used it. I've had it for a little while. Um, and I've been meaning to uh, cook, cook something, but the weather hasn't been the best. We're currently in in uh, spring, but uh, we're um, well, we're quite a up high here. We're on the uh, western slopes of uh, the Blue Mountains in New South Wales, and we get frost right up until. Uh, the beginning, beginning of November, we should be right after today, um, but we can't, uh, so even, even our um, fruit and everything is very slow uh, to ripen because of the, um, the climate we have here. So some days it might be um, 8 or 9 degrees Celsius during the day, uh, and then the next day it's uh, 22. So it's a nice 22 today. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to line it with um, what we call baking paper. You might call it uh, um, parchment paper or, or baking parchment where you come from, but we call it... Um, baking paper and the reason I'm doing that is or two reasons one is I don't want the mix to drip um, down through the um, the trivet itself onto the bottom of the cast uh, cast iron thing but the other thing is I want to be able to easily pull the bread mix out of um, out of the uh, camp oven when it's cooked I'll just check on the heat beads yeah, they've still got a little bit of way to go, um, but that's okay. And I'm going to put this um, bread mix now into the camp oven. We're lucky with the traffic, haven't had that many cars come through. I rewatched uh, my first video. This is my 33rd video, I think. I rewatched my first video the other day and uh, the traffic noise was just terrible. It's too hard to do it holding this face in the camera, so I'm just going to turn it around this way and do it properly. It's certainly a very gluey mix. I um, 
I'm not suggesting this is the only mix that you use. There, I'm sure uh, wherever you live, there is something uh, similar or something that suits you. <coughs> I'm just trying to give you some ideas here. This would also work in a round camp oven. Um, you'd make a round loaf or you could have a, a small um, loaf tin inside the camp oven. That will work too. I actually ummed and hard about doing that with this, but I thought, well, we'll just give it a go. See what happens. Right, so I'll just flatten that out, see what that looks like, and we'll see how that goes. I'm going to put the lid on. we will leave it for about 15 minutes, that's what they're recommending in the box here. And um, uh, by that time the, the heat beads will be ready to go as well. Come back to you shortly. So I've got the heat beads uh, in here, as I said. The first thing I'm going to do is put a few um, just down the bottom here underneath. And I can put the... Put the camp oven on top of those. They don't need many. Just a few there going on the top and then I'll put uh, more heat beads on the top of the oven itself in reality you want to have more heat beads on the top of the oven than you do on the bottom uh, especially when you're baking uh, when you're roasting too so if you're doing a roast um, lamb or roast pork or roast chicken even make sure that you have more heat beads on the top than you do on the bottom. Because you've got a little, bit of, a little bit of an air gap between the lid and the food. And so basically what the heat beads on the top do is heat up that air. And that'll help to bake or roast whatever you've got in there. One more. These are quite hot, these heat beads. Okay. We'll just leave it like that for about half an hour or so, and we'll see what happens. <clears throat> so this is after about 15 minutes of cooking. You can see that's coming along nicely. It's uh, certainly risen too. I'm pretty happy with that so far. Be very careful not to uh, put the ash actually uh, inside the thing. That these um, these gloves are pretty good too. They're heatproof gloves, but I bought at my local hardware store. Okay, this is uh, after about half an hour. I'll have a look and see what it looks like now. Try not to put any... Oh, that's looking good, isn't it? It's still not cooked inside, though. Yeah, it's still got um, stuff on the outside there.
<clears throat> what I might do is move the coals away from the middle and have them more on the outside. I'll give it another 15 minutes and see how we go. Okay, this is about uh, 45 minutes in. And the smell is just wonderful. Uh, freshly baked bread. It smells great. Just get my uh, gloves on properly. Look at that, eh? Look at that. Just put the thing on again. Uh, it still needs more cooking on the outside. And what I might do is have a quick look underneath. It's not too bad, I still think it needs more on either side. So we'll give it another 15 minutes and I think it'll be done by then. more of these heat beads on the end I think Um, this is the this is the key to, to um, testing whether the bread has been cooked properly. So if you put it in and it comes out clear, um, you know that it's been cooked. If you put it in and it comes out with um, bread on it, you know that it's still uh, not cooked in the middle. Let's see what it looks like now, eh? I'll take this one off. Oh, yes, that looks good. I'm pretty happy with that. I 
might take it inside now and let it rest for a little bit and then uh, go from there. Well I feel that went quite well. The camp oven, uh, the bread making camp oven uh, I thought was great. It was, it was very simple to use. Um, it was a good size. Um, it wasn't too big and everything and I think that the, um, the bread mix turned out pretty well too. So I'm very happy with that. But the proof is in the pudding, the proof is in the eating, sorry. So let's uh, open it up and see what it uh, tastes like. Oh, it smells divine. Yes, I'm very happy with that. Um, that's uh, what it looks like inside. It's certainly cooked all the way through beautifully. Um, all the way through. I'm happy with that. Let's see what it tastes like with some butter on it. That's lovely. <laughs> Until he's barking at something over there. Um, look, that's really lovely, and I will certainly um, be taking that camp oven with me next time we go out in the caravan, next time we go camping. Um, and I'll probably use it in the backyard as well, so very happy with that. It's certainly lovely to have fresh bread, um, whether you're eating soup at night time or whether you're making it for uh, toast the next morning or even for uh, for lunch on the day as well. So I'm very happy with that. If you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up uh, and subscribe to the channel. Uh, the videos will be a little bit slow uh, coming through uh, for a little while. I'm due to have a, a knee replacement in about three weeks and I'll get some of these um, uh, footage taken beforehand so I've got some some things to edit while I'm um, laid up for about six weeks so um, I look forward to seeing you then Dennis from Caravan Cooking thanks for watching Hello Tilly <laughs>